I don't think people realize this. So back in the day, professional photographers would mark up their images. They would literally oh, mark it up and say, so cool. and, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go to Google real quick. Yeah. James Dean photo. Yeah. It's so like, um, yeah, the, these, fam these famous iconic images. I, I want you to see Scott, this. I was talking about where what they'll do is they'll go into the, they'll actually, the photographer will, would mark up and draw on the photo, everything he wants the processor to do to that photo. And a lot of times you couldn't even re you couldn't even see the photo anymore. Because it was so marked <laughs> there up. There was so much markup on it. But yet, we look at that image and go, oh, look at what they created. But it's like it, part of that process was the post-processing. I mean, that, that's part of the process in this. And that's really what we want to unpack here, is that part of the process is the, the post-processing. Yeah. T take a look on screen here. Here's the image. Now, there's a famous image of James Dean. And this is, you know, Magnum Photographer. So mm -hmm. as good as they get. Him giving the instructions to the dark room. This needs to be 20% brighter. This needs to be darker. I need this burned. I need this removed. I need this here. I need this there. That was a craft. But here's the problem and why that was bad. It wasn't bad to do. He was doing the right thing. But he's having to tell somebody else, here's how I see this image. Yeah. Like he's having to tell a third party. You know what the difference is today? Yeah. We don't have to tell somebody else. That's so we cool. can do it ourselves and we can experiment and go, you know, I thought it was 20%, but it's only 10%. It looks better. And and that's the thing. That's the, the gift that we have been given. Yeah, oh yeah. You don't have to have you, the artist, tell another person, here's what I'm thinking. You can just do it. You can do it yourself. And when you see pictures like this, because this was a you know huge, famous, famous image. I wonder if they show the final image in here. There's another one. Oh, right yeah. There. So yeah. there's the difference. And it's basically what I would say my raw file yep. looks like, what my process file looks like. Yeah. I mean, that's basically <laughs> it nowadays. And that's what's crazy about this. There's no better time to be a photographer than right now. I mean, that's how it works. We have change. We have evolution. Stuff gets better, right? There's no better time because now we're given the tools to do this by ourselves we don't have to like scott's saying go in and and instruct somebody to do this or learn how to mix chemicals and and burn and dodge and do all this stuff yeah like, and do things that were dangerous dangerous like, yeah like shops, low danger yeah very low exactly. danger